towering, towering over London. Have you seen me towering over London? How does a little bespoke tailor, one Italian, just one little Italian in Hong Kong suddenly tower over London? Well, if you are in London, go to Oxford Circus, go to Sloan Square, go to Clapham Junction, go to Putney Bridge, go to Limehouse and go to Chelsea and see me towering over you. And for those of you who are not in London, check out all my socials, including Instagram and TikTok and see me tower over London. See the TikTok tailor, the celebrity tailor, what he is capable of. Now, it's hard to believe, but it's the truth. And I talked about Groundhog Day because I was so frustrated that I literally, between March 1st of 2020, till I left just before Christmas for Kuala Lumpur, December 2022, was it? Yes. So we are 2024 now. Last year I went to Tokyo, right? Yeah. So March 1st, 2020 to just before Christmas, December 2022. So you got 2020, 2021, 2022, nearly three years. Let's shave three months off of that, right? Let's call it four months of that. So for 32 months, 32 months, I live stream virtually, virtually every single day. Didn't miss a beat. Maybe I missed one day at Chinese New Year. Probably not. I probably still open and live stream. And for the first part of that, at least, twice a day because I was doing these European calls right for for the first couple of years as well and then you know things started to get actually things never got better <laughs> and so and then I took a long break I think the break was needed I missed it I missed it a lot and uh, I think that you need to take a break from stuff uh, for your own mental health and I've always negated mental health issues and I still stand by that but um, I you know you I think that when I say I negate mental health issues, is that I don't think people need to succumb to that, right? Because it's just within and stuff, right? I'm not going crazy and nuts that it's Groundhog Day every day in Hong Kong and the Chinese government is not opening up the city and my business is being decimated and I'm bleeding cash because I'm carrying my whole team, right? I just needed, you know, how many monologues did I deliver, right? We're talking about 34 months, that's three years. That's over a thousand monologues that I delivered, right? Uh, it was, it, you know, it takes a lot out of you. And especially the first uh, year of the pandemic, we were doing five, six, seven calls in the morning. You know, I was live streaming for two and a half, three hours, right? And then, you know, maybe two, three, four calls in the afternoon, maybe another hour with live streaming stuff. It was very draining. I didn't realize it. I was having a lot of fun. Towards the end, it became shitty, not because of me, but because of the lack of the support. I guess I can't blame people who are just carrying cameras, right? I'm grateful to people who are just carrying cameras, but I can't blame them if they switch off. You know what I mean? It's tough to carry a camera for one hour and listen to me day after day after day, but you know, that's what I need. That's what we needed. That's what put Sam's Taylor on the global map. You know what I mean? Forget the funny videos. Forget video after video of butt slapping and stuff. I mean, I would just be, you know, a comic, an idiot, a donkey, a jester, right? When you looked deeper, when everyone was watching, uh, those, those funny videos may have been a hook, but they saw a guy doing international business day after day after day, which I was doing, and we were made, making cutting edge stuff, absolutely mind-blowingly cutting edge stuff for everybody globally, okay? And people, moreover, people I had never met who vested in me, who completely vested in me. They sent me their measurements and they sent me cash before I even did anything. So, us, you know, my dad is out of town and, you know, I think, I was thinking to myself yesterday that um, I probably treat my son, Rian, the way my grandfather treated me. And I probably don't, and I don't treat my son, Rian, the way my father treats me and stuff. I mean, my father has been great to me. He's given me a lot of stuff, but he's also a really, really shitty dad and unsupportive, right? It's like, he's always undermining me. But we've talked about this many, many, many times, right? Imagine if he had teamed with me, rather than daily undermining me and my, my staff, as loyal out there as they are to my dad, and they're very loyal to my father, and they're not loyal to me, and that's the truth, right? But they, even as loyal as they are to my father, they know in their hearts how horrible and undermining he was throughout the entire pandemic process towards me, 
when I turned myself into the TikTok tailor. Um, so I took a massive break and this doesn't mean that I'm back on a daily basis. What it does mean is that my father is out of town. He's in Europe. He'll be back, I think, on Monday. So I live streamed a few times last week, delivered a couple of monologues, would have delivered more monologues if I had staff that actually came into work at on time. Um, but so I missed out on those. Uh, and you know, you've got me today. You, you had me on Monday and Tuesday, but I cannot promise you tomorrow. What I can promise you is that day after day after day, no matter what, on every platform, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Snapchat, and the Chinese platforms, Little Red Book, Duyuan, you will get a unique video from me, at least one video. To all the platforms that may be watching, the best place to follow me is Instagram, purely because, purely because you'll have Insta stories. So you'll find out more about me. There's more tidbits that are there, you know, personal stuff, uh, and uh, workout stuff and nonsensical stuff and other people's posts, right? You know, clients repost and stuff that I'll share in my story. So you definitely want to be watching me on Insta for that. Um, before I make the first call, I'll tell you something very important. I'm wearing a double-breasted suit today, right? So I have just committed to double-breasted the last few weeks since I came back from Dallas. And I never made a double-breasted suit ever because I worked very hard on creating my signature style. What was my signature style? A one-button jacket, okay, with a peak lapel, generally triple pockets, and my signature U-shaped waistcoat, all right, which I did not invent, but I made, uh, invent, but I made it mine, and globally it is now mine. And, you know, it's great that everybody, it grew to a point where everybody globally knew that this is... Roshan's signature style and stuff. Now with anything that happens, whatever you build up, right? If you lose it, I mean, it's if it's gone, it's gone, right? So you, you, you must never, ever, ever say, shit, I'm shattered. Shit, what do I do? I mean, you, you're still fucking alive. Most people are dead. You still have hands and legs and feet, right? And fucking people don't, you know what I mean? You still are eating. People are starving, right? You still have electricity, people live in darkness. You, know, you still have water, people don't have water, they don't have toilets, they don't have flush, they don't have fucking anything, right? You must always say to yourself that no matter what cushioning position you are in, okay, you owe it to yourself to build something new once again. And that's basically it. And that is one of the essences of humanity, and I guarantee you that. And I will take questions after the live call, Two calls, wow, what a treat, two calls suddenly. I will take questions after the call, but for now, what I really want from all of you, since I've delivered such a sterling monologue, is that I would like you to like and share the live for me, please. Please come in there, both of you. Move this chair. Michael. What's up, how you doing? Where's your fiance, Brooke? Uh he, uh, I'm in Nebraska. She's in California. Uh, so I had to come here for work. So I'm, she won't be able to join us today. What did I promise you? You promised me you'd get the suit done in three days. <laughs> this is amazing. Is this not day three? This is day three, yeah. You guys, you guys, are, you guys deliver. You're I amazing. told you Love. that I will put you at the top of my list because I understand yeah. what you had to endure, okay? to make this work yeah, and you're right. stuck with it all right so i'm sad brooke's not yeah. there okay but uh, i'm yeah. going to show you your new suit all right now remember what i told right. you when i spoke to you the other day i said this is all about you okay and the point of this call is not for me to extol my virtues okay and to blow my horn yeah. and this must definitely never be a case of the emperor's new clothes okay this has to be all right, about right. you but what i will tell you is that i took your brief and I completely ripped it up. And I have delivered to you something so dynamic, so outstanding, that will be basically immortalized through photo, video, and social media. I guarantee you that. And you are going to be okay. so happy when you receive the suit. You're going to be so happy wearing the suit. But post the wedding when everything settles and you see all the people that tag you in their stories and you see the photography and the video and everything, you will, under, you will come back to me and say, Roshan, you're the man. And you will get so many compliments to the wedding for this suit, especially its styling. Okay? 
Right. You right. mark my right. words. Right. All right. I already know you. Uh, do you ever do you ever watch my videos? What's that? Do you ever watch my videos? Uh, I don't. Good. I, 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 I'm not on social media. So That's fine. I, I have a hard no problem. Time. I'm happy you're not watching yeah. my videos. You know what I mean? They're very, very crass. <laughs> okay, I'm turning the camera around. If you cannot see or hear me, you must tell me. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Great stuff. So to begin with, my dear friend, is your new extremely dynamic wedding jacket. I love it. Is. And oh my goodness, how different is it from the demure brief that you sent me? Yeah, yeah. Right or wrong? I told yeah. you that day, I said, Michael, I appreciate how much you love this suit that I made you, right? But we have right. to throw it away. <laughs> I look at this baby. It is spectacular, okay? Single yeah. button, a gorgeous tan Malzoni button that is double stamped in Malzoni, okay? And you have a dinner button there, which I'll explain shortly, okay? My deep okay. press stitch everywhere on the narrow peak lapel, on the Barquetta breast pocket, on the pocket flaps down the front of the jacket, both sides, all the way around the bottom and at the back of the jacket, okay? You have an wow. accented color buttonhole to wear pin badge flower corsage, which you will of course utilize for the wedding. And then you have a flower loop behind to catch the stem of a fresh flower. Everything between the suits okay. is different except for the one thing that you dialed back on at the end that Brooke dialed back on, which is the, instead of overlapping buttons, <laughs> the lined up button. Right. A Barquetta breast pocket with a curve and kick, a true bespoke breast pocket. You can put anything in there. I put business okay. cards in my breast pocket, okay? You can okay. put handkerchief, uh, pocket square, scarf, nothing at all. Or you can utilize okay. the glorious golden butterflies, which are built in for you. Okay? Oh, that's, that's How good is that? Wonderful. Okay. <laughs> I love it. I would not have thought of that. <laughs> As we come down the jacket, we make it scream bespoke. It screams bespoke with aggressively slanted pockets, undersized pocket flaps, which make it look very contemporary. These are hacking pockets in my own vein. A kissing ticket pocket rather than the overlapping one. You can see the pocket flaps are, uh, are, right, are slightly right. smaller and fully lined pocket flaps. Okay. Wow. In addition to just this buttonhole being in an accent color, we went ahead and did all of them. So you've got the ivory up here, down here, and in all four holes. Now, this is a fully functional cuff, which means every button opens, all right? Okay, yeah. And every little button is also double stamped in Marzoni, okay? So you've got the best shit going on. Then look at the interior. It is yeah, sensational workmanship. Half lining for your beach wedding. Built-in sweat pads. Yeah. This will take the wear and tear. Built-in underarm pads. This will take the wear and tear, not the super soft lining. The underarm pads are built out of the same fabric as the suit itself to add to the artisan of the interior. The interior is fully piped in the lining itself to further demonstrate my artistry. Your name spelled correctly spare buttons one big one small i can send you buttons anytime lock away pockets so tuck in the flaps for easy in and out pull out the flaps and secure whatever needs to be secured you've got that on both sides a utility pocket here pen laser pointer cigar comb vape you name it and a lower pocket for a smartphone all right in the back of the jacket the deep press stitch behind the collar contrasting Etro-esque flannel by Marzoni underneath the collar and a pop vent at the wow. back. Do you have any questions? Follow my voice. Any questions about the jacket? No questions. This is, it looks beautiful. Does it? Uh, Why didn't you take over now? You can go upstairs. Exactly what, okay. you, what you promised. This is exactly I what you I promised you, right? So. Now, how else did it I looks, save you? Okay. I, I mm. could have imagined that. What can I ask? What did you and Brooke say to each other after you hung up with me? Um, we were. She was. I, I asked her I, if she kissed the 
before we um, met with you, I asked if she would like to be on the call. Yeah. Uh, to see, and she was like, "Oh, I don't need to do that." I was like, "I think you would really, I think you would really enjoy the meeting with you, Sean." And so she loved it. She so I just I just spoke with her about you know, and uh, you know, did she enjoy the experience? And she said, "I didn't know there was so much that went into it." And she loved that you had all of those uh, wonderful suggestions. She's really thrilled. So, see, we are using the free technology available to us, okay, to create the same in-store experience. Okay, I didn't shirk on anything, and the output shows demonstrates that I haven't shirked on anything. Your classic old school waistcoat is now replaced by the most sensational waistcoat that you could ever ask for. Look at this baby! My horseshoe cut, deep press stitch, also all around the waistcoat, deep press stitch everywhere. Little Marzoni buttons, also double stamped in Marzoni. Every buttonhole and accented color. Little pockets for you that are fully lined. I don't skimp on anything. The full interior is lined. The entire back is lined. And it is so well, right. soft. It is a dream. Now, yeah, yeah. my dear emperor, let me dress myself in your new clothes to demonstrate. I would have loved it if Brooke was here because I guarantee I would have blown her away. Let's start with your vest. Now, of course, we have different sizes, all right? So this is just to give you perspective. Okay, so very different from your brief, very different. Uh, love from anything that you've worn before, totally the right way to go for your wedding. Totally the right way to go. Can you do the belt for me? The totally the right way to go for, is it already buckled? This you can just adjust, okay? If you want to pull it tighter or looser, all right? There's a belt on the back there, all right? Totally the right way to go to make yourself the absolute man, got to. Come in. Do you have children? No, not yet. This is my daughter, Saria. Say hi. Seriously. Okay, I have a bag. The Prada bag, I need to change the zip. We can't do it, sorry. Okay, thanks. This is my daughter, Saria, forgive me. Saria, tell her, tell him something about yourself. Tell him something. She gets her shyness from me, Michael. I promise you. She gets her shyness from me. Okay, go, enjoy yourself. Uh, did you, this is a family business. Did your father started the business? My grandfather started the business in 1957. He came to Hong Kong in 1952 and he started working in another tailor shop. And after five years, he had enough money to open up Sam's Tailor. And here we are 67 years strong. Amazing, yeah. So let's see how it goes with the jacket. Just lovely, right? Oh yeah. So slick, right? The details, the peak lapel, the single button, the drop down, the display of the waistcoat, the hacking pockets, right? Always remember that you must wear one button open, all right? Now, Michael, when at the wedding, you may find yourself sitting for a while while people are making speeches, right? You might, and then you'll be dancing with your wife, right? Of course. I don't want you sitting like a slob like this. So I, when you sit down, unbutton the main button and give yourself that extra inch of room with the dinner button same thing when you're dancing with your wife okay, oh, okay. so it. after yeah. getting off the dance floor or after get sitting up from wherever you're sitting unbutton the dinner button re-button okay. understand the concept I do, I do. do you have any questions for me i don't think so <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah, is, is it just the style that um, you leave the last button on the cuff um, unbuttoned? Is that just the... That's the style, and that's also a way to show off a bespoke suit, okay? Okay. Yeah. Great stuff. Now, even the trousers are completely different. So the trousers I've given you with buckles rather than belt loops, okay? Mm. You've always been wearing belt loops. 
And I think that yeah. the buckles will be your... I mean, so I need to, you know, sort of understand. Okay, the buckles will be your savior, I promise you. I'll explain why. I'll go over why we chose buckles together, okay? But firstly, you have the accented color buttonhole even on the trousers, okay? We've left no stone unturned. Let me talk through the details of the trousers. You have a pocket guard on both sides for wear and tear because a lot of wear and tear comes, right, with our wallets and our mobile phones. You've got the little Marzoni buttons on both sides along with the accented color. Everything is very high-end, Michael, very, very high-end. Each little button double stamped with Marzoni. You have yeah. suspender buttons on the inside. One, two, three, four, they go all around, okay? okay. To, uh, <clears throat> to basically wear braces if you want to. You have a crotch guard for wear and tear. You have a, a plethora of secret pockets, including one over here and another one inside here, okay? Now, why the buckles? Because, because this, this is what we discussed. We said that with a color this light, right? You'll, if you opt for belt loops, you're gonna get hamstrung by having to match the belt to the shoes, right? So unless you find an outstanding belt and an outstanding shoe that goes together, you're probably negating what you can offer your audience as well as yourself, all right? So easier to take the belt out of the equation because we cannot take the shoes out of the equation, correct? So easier to take the belt out of the equation and then, like myself, you can rock any color shoe you want with a suit. The shoes are just the shoes, you are liberated. You follow me? I do, I follow you. And then we made one very tiny change by just narrowing the bottoms uh, a little bit. They're still pretty wide in this era, okay? Just made it narrow a little bit so that it's just, the style is a bit more present. Any questions for me? Um, uh, no, you, you mentioned yeah, the buttons on the inside of the trousers. They are uh, for braces. Yeah. Braces, suspenders. I don't know what you call it in the oh, United I States. Got, I got it, okay. Yeah, what yeah. do you guys call it? Suspenders, yeah. yeah. so those are the buttons to attach suspenders. You never have to use them, okay? Sure. They're an option, mm -hmm. right? You know, some guys wear it like, yeah. okay? You can also just snip them off yourself if you don't want to use them. No, that's fine. I, 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 I like having the option, so that's that's wonderful. I just have never, I actually have never rocked suspenders, so I don't know. You don't need to. You've got a vest, you've got everything, you know what I mean? And the trousers fit perfectly, okay? I need to just give you one more lesson very quickly. I forgot. Make sure you can see me, okay? To operate these, it's very simple, okay? To operate these, let me do it on myself, okay? Which is a bit more difficult here. Okay. Yeah, I just unbuckled myself, all right? Very simply, okay. I unbuckled myself. Got it. All right, what you do is, like a belt, simple little belt, through the middle and pull back, okay? And then to tighten, just suck your tummy in, suck your tummy in, give yourself a tug, and you're done. Okay. Michael, you can call me or text me anytime for any sartorial advice, okay? Yeah. Both in the build up to the wedding, the day of the wedding, and moving forward from there. Now, can I make you another suit? Um, yeah, well, I'm not sure what I, I do want another suit. I guess I would love to. Uh, I, I have been wanting another suit. What do you have in mind? I like, have lots and lots of stuff in mind. Okay, yeah. I'm going to ship this to you. Okay, and I'm going to write you uh, 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 an an email. How do we swap okay. this out? Okay, I'm going to ship this to you today, and I'm going to write okay. you an email. Okay. And I think that's the best thing to do. Okay. Okay? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, so I, I think I've got a, a couple of suits from you. I've got the, well, the black, and then I've, I've had, I have this, um, this gray suit that is just, uh, I wear it everywhere. It's, it's, and gosh, I've worn it uh, a lot. It's, it's, it's really a wonderful suit. Um, I don't have like a navy suit. Um, I don't have. Then let me color. make you the most amazing <laughs> navy suit ever. I mean, ever. Okay. Yeah. Okay, great. Let me send you an email. Okay. And 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 we can get going on that, and we can have more fun. Sound good to you? Okay, great. Yeah, that sounds 
Okay, okay. you text me back now here on WhatsApp your detailed okay. delivery address and cell phone number, okay? Okay, yeah. Okay. Do I need to, I know, you know, when I, um, when I, when I paid, I paid for the suit, uh, how, how do I pay for the shipping? I pay for the shipping. shipping I pay for the shipping. Well, okay, yeah. Okay. Bro, don't worry about the little things, bro. You fucking trust me so much, man. You think I'm not humble? How much you trust me? How much trust and faith you put in me on this? Yeah. Well, I mean, well, you you delivered for me before, so I I, I knew that you would deliver okay. again. So time is running out uh, for you to maybe suddenly have to make alterations. Should anything be wrong, okay? So I'm shipping right. today after I receive your address. I ship today, you receive okay. inside 48 hours, okay? Okay. Thanks. You try it on immediately. I will. Okay? And I want to hear back from you. Okay. Thank okay. you, my dear friend, and God bless you. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. All right. Bye-bye. Okay. All right, bye-bye. Okay, come. Uh, let's call Jordan. Everybody, how was that? And you're going to get a second call, and then we're going to do Q&A afterwards. Everybody help me to like and share the live. And if you miss my monologue, you must watch this after I post it, but stay with me. My dear, dear friend, how are you? Doing good, doing good. <laughs> Where the hell are you? You're always in an interesting place. I'm a... Uh, wow. Like the marina. Which city are you in? I'm in uh, Ventura. In Ventura, California. Yeah, yeah. Okay, great stuff. Everything is good with you? Yeah, everything's good. You've been watching my videos? Yeah. I've been towering over London now. I don't know if you've seen that. Oh, I didn't see that. You check it out when we hang up the call. All right, you ready to see your new suit? Yes, sir. It is fucking spectacular. And if there's anything you don't like about it, you've got to tell me, okay? Okay. Okay, let me turn the camera around. If you can't see or hear me, you got to tell me, okay? Okay, my man, my dear fan, I know how much you trust me and value me and look at this dynamic blue suit. We have fucking murdered it for you. It is sensational in every way. Single button, single Marzoni button, double stamped in Marzoni. Secondary button serves as the dinner button, okay? Also double stamped in Marzoni. My dot, 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 hand, needle, and thread pick stitching everywhere. Down both sides of a narrow peak lapel, around the collar, across the top of the Barquetta breast pocket, and on the bottom of the undersized flat pockets, down the front sides of both, ja or down the, both the front sides of the jacket, and along the bottom of the jacket, and also on the gauntlet cuff. Va, 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 voom. Accented color buttonhole. This is a functional buttonhole. You can wear pin badge, flower corsage. You even have a flower loop behind to catch the stem of a fresh flower. Barquetta breast pocket with a curve and kick. Even with a narrow peak lapel, we get the gorgeous Canali-esque overlap on the Barquetta breast pocket. This is a functional breast pocket. You can put your glasses in there, pen in there, handkerchief in there, pocket square in there, business cards in there like I do. Or you can pull out your glorious, glorious built-in pocket square how is that as we come down the jacket you can see aggressively undersized flat pockets on a slant to scream contemporary bespoke as mentioned they are fully pick stitched they are fully lined you have secret pockets inside to basically hide away all sorts of paraphernalia you have a true gauntlet cuff a functional gauntlet cuff a pick stitch gauntlet cuff a fully lined gauntlet cuff you have overlapping buttons on a fully functional cuff two primary buttons two secondary buttons one two three four they all open they overlap they are both they are all double stamped in marzoni and you have the accent color down here to match the accent color up here to match the accent color down here. Always leave one button open. Absolutely fucking sensational. What a blue suit. What an interior. The most glorious, gorgeous, soft interior. You have built-in underarm pads to take the wear and tear. 
not affecting the super soft lining. The underarm pads are built from the same fabric as the suit to demonstrate my artisan. The entire interior of the jacket and the underarm pads are piped in organic satin to just add more luster. Look how everything runs in theme. Boom, 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 right? Why not just feel great? You have your name spelled correctly, spare buttons for running repairs. I can send you buttons anytime, one big, one small. Lock away pockets. Lock away pockets so you can hide the button or you can open up and tuck the flap in for easy and out on the fly. By day, a presentation pocket, pen, comb, laser pointer. By night, a party pocket, cigar vape. <laughs> and a lower pocket on both sides for smartphone and power bank, all right? I flip the jacket around. You have my signature pop vent at the back, pick stitching on the back of the collar, and gorgeous flannel underneath the collar, all right? Any questions for me? Um, when, uh, how soon am I going to get it? I'm going to ship it today and you'll receive it inside 48 hours. Okay. That is beautiful. So the dinner button, okay, so first of all, this is a button with different sizes. You can see the wasting in the jacket, how aggressive it is. You can see the, how pristine the shoulders are when it's not even cut for me. When you're sitting down for a period of time, so at a luncheon, a conference, uh, at the boardroom table, at a wedding, etc., etc. I don't want you sitting like a slob, like all the other fat men around you. You unbutton and you give yourself an extra inch of room with the dinner button. And then when you get back up, you button up as normal. I think it's so fucking good. What do you think? It's beautiful, right? It's beautiful, right? Absolutely beautiful. Okay. Excellent. 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 Now, to go with your gorgeous jacket. One thing, I know I've made you a suit, but this is also your blue blazer, all right guys? You can wear this with any color trouser, any color trouser, I promise you, including the suit trouser of the first suit that I made you, and that first suit was sensational, okay? So that ja this jacket goes with those trousers, that original gray check suit goes with these trousers, okay? And then this blue blazer goes with any color jeans, and your gray blazer goes with any jeans, okay? The only thing in life you save is money. Your clothes you use. You don't save your new clothes for special occasions. The only way to elicit value from clothing is through utility, okay? Yes. Clothes sitting on the, in the wardrobe become the most expensive pieces of useless shit ever, okay? Yes. Clothes that you use and use and use, regardless of how much money you pay for them, become so valuable, okay? I mean it. So to complete the suit, we have a lovely pair of trousers. The trousers have matching Marzoni buttons, also double stamped in Marzoni, pocket guard for wear and tear, cuffs on the bottom, just like I like wearing, heel guard for wear and tear, crotch guard for wear and tear, secret pockets everywhere for any sort of paraphernalia here, and in here, okay? S braces buttons, suspender buttons, in case you ever want to rock suspenders. Shirt stays to keep your shirt locked in pristinely like me. Good morning. Okay? Hi, good morning. And then a single, Hi. a single British pleat, both sides, okay? So exactly like I'm wearing, a single British pleat, both sides, okay? Any questions for me? Um, uh, where's, uh, where are you going to slap the two planets? I'm going to slap, I'm fucking going to slap Tarzan's planets for you, okay? I'll slap Georgie's planets. I won't be able to slap Nero's planets, okay? Now listen, um, the buckles, very simple. Very simple to use. Just like a belt, through the middle, and then pull back, Okay? and then give your tummy a suck in and pull, and you're locked in. Any questions for me? Um, no questions. Okay, great. To have it. <laughs> when we hang up now, text me back. 
text me back your detailed delivery address and email. Detailed delivery address and email. Also text me back your Insta so I can tag you in this. Okay. Sound good to you? Yeah. Sounds good right okay, now. Okay, great stuff. I, I, I told you I'll deliver something spectacular. I told you don't worry, okay? Yeah. God bless you, dear friend. I still have it. I'll talk to you soon. Thank Take you, care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent today. Excellent. Let's go inside. Let's do the team meeting. I'll tell you a couple of things. Okay? Excellent. Come, blood. Just a couple of things. Set me up. Come on. Come on. Set me up. Set me up in this corner. How good was that? How good was today? How good was my monologue? What an excellent monologue. I have to say, thank you, Dutch. Well done. Excellent monologue, excellent everything. I will answer all your questions. All your questions. If you miss my monologue after I post a live on Insta, go back and watch it. Because it really was an excellent monologue. I don't write these, I just spew whatever comes out of my mouth. I'll tell you something, right? Everybody calls me an asshole and a dick. Everybody thinks they're smarter than me or I'm just stupid. Everyone thinks they're fitter than me, more muscular than me, more skinny than me, can dance better than me, can speak better than me. Number one, show me the fucking video. Show me a fucking video that you're better than me in any sense. Show me the video, okay? Because I am too good. That's why I get paid the big bucks. Always remember why I get the money. Because I am too good. I am Ritik Roshan, Shara Khan, you fucking name it, all in one. Okay? And that's basically it. Okay. So, Jordan, just clean up the suit. All right? He's very dear to us. You know Jordan. Such a huge fan of mine. And ship it. Michael, clean it up. The bottom of the pants still looks wide. If it really is, whatever it says in your notes, ship it. But if it isn't, any minus, then change it and ship it. But that has to go today. He's getting married. Okay? He's getting married now. Next week is his wedding. Sample will be sent. No, no, no. Let me talk to him by email. I'm going to talk to him now. Um, I'm going to call him right now. Good idea. You have one more of these? Just, me, just give me something. Just give me something now, quickly. Michael, I'm sorry to bother you, okay? And I'm sorry to put you in this position. If you are serious about purchasing another suit from me, okay? Then I will hang on to the black suit sample. If you're not sure, I'm going to ship that back today. What do you think? No, no, no. Uh, no, I'm serious. I'd love to buy another suit. Okay, shirt, great stuff. Right. So uh, let me ship this suit out now. And then when I have time at my desk and stuff, I'll write you a sincere email and make you a great offer, okay? Okay. Thank well, you, Michael. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay? Excellent. Excellent. So I was thinking this in my head, what I wanted to do. But I'm glad that you brought it up, okay? You have Austin's thing. And I'm leaving that in you because there's another message from him. Philip, I go. I don't know how to transfer money. There's a video that I've made that we can send to everyone. It's a nine second video. Have you seen the video that I've made? It's a nine second video that you can just forward that teaches everyone how to make the, the transfer. Okay. The black lady again. Thank you. I'm standing by for news. David Hasselhoff. I'll call him David Hasselhoff. How much money is he supposed to send? <coughs> Have you guys started it? My hair is fucking perfect. Perfect. Um, David Hasselhoff. David Hasselhoff. Is there an order open for him? I don't even know. This was all whilst I was out of town. No, no. David, for the shirts, right? Yeah. No, not open. I said, do you know how much money you're expecting from him? 
Pe, pe, we'll just wait for one second. Let me get into the bag. Okay, you go into David. Hmm. Check the, the, the money, the amount. And then let me come back out. I will be with you and answer uh, all the questions afterwards. But keep it serious, otherwise I will go. You think that your petty comments can shudder me? <laughs> I'm towering over London, my friend. Okay, I'm logging into the bank. Uh, Johnny C, send me your measurements for the measurement chart on my website, then I can make you something amazing. Uh, same thing with <coughs> my clients here. My favorite suit is the one that I'm wearing right now. Uh, I take any client as long as you can pay. My biggest client ever. Gosh, I have so many big clients. How can I say who's my biggest client ever? Okay. So we just today is August the eighth. So I'll just take the the thing from the seventh. Uh, I have nothing uh, in the main account. I have nothing in the U.S. dollar account. And I have only, I have nothing in the, I have nothing. Say we have not received. Say just checked we have not received. And okay, I'll type it. Give it back to me. I'm just trying to find like how much money we need. Well, let's do it later. Okay. Because we haven't got any money now anyways, right? Whatever, it doesn't matter, really matter right now. Uh, and stuff, right? Manny Padilla has given his thing. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Who is Daniel O? Okay, he wants a receipt of something. Who's Brian this? Amazing. You sure? Mm -hmm. Finish it. Who's this plus 917? Okay, and then Zachary is yours. Okay. Um, okay, Michael Williams we'll talk about later. Any questions for me? Emails. You ship the stuff now. Okay. Okay, you guys go. Guess what? I'm all yours. No, I only accept cash. You have to bank transfer to me. Only cash and stuff. Okay, if you have questions, let's go. Let's go. Brandon the Beast. I appreciate you every single day. You're with me no matter what. Uh, I don't do quick turnaround. Okay. Uh, I, I think all the suits of James Bond historically are amazing. Uh, suit is 1,000 US dollars. You're worried about shipping? I... I what the fuck difference does it make what shipping costs? Only wire transfer, yes. Mm. My suits are in movies, TV shows, all of the news, CNN, BBC, you mean, you mean the compares, uh, what do you, the hosts wear them and stuff. Are you really going to be in Hong Kong in October? Yes, of course you can come and purchase, not get purchase a suit in person. I can make any type of suit. Uh, Tom Segura was here, I think, in Jan, right? And stuff. How often do you want him to come to Hong Kong? He's on a world fucking tour, right? But subsequently, I worked with him two more times by mail, and you would have seen the live stream if you joined me. I work with a lot of Americans yet. They're my biggest market. I've never shaved my head. Majority of my clients are from the United States. You need to keep the questions coming thick and fast, otherwise I will not stay with you guys. Okay, I'll scroll up to the beginning. Okay, but there's 160 of you here. If 80 of you ask a question, we'll, we'll, we'll be doing great. <laughs> All garbage. Nothing wrong with fat men. What's the opposite of, of fat, right? I mean, I, I don't know. I think every guy owes it to themselves. 
to be in shape, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I mean, then you can say there's nothing wrong with anybody, right? Of course, there's nothing wrong with a fat man, right? He's a good man. He's a great man. He's that. But, I mean, it doesn't matter how good you are. You owe it to yourself to be in great shape, especially if you are going to be with a woman, especially if you have children. You owe that woman to be in the best possible shape that you can possibly be in. You owe it to your children to be fit. Really psychos. I, I don't know, Brandon, if I can just get onto something and stuff, right? I don't even know what is Twitch, how to start an audience here. Here's just automatic, right, with my followers. I really appreciate you, Lisa, answering these psychos. I mean, this is one guy psycho here who's just going on and on. I, I can't believe the rest of you watching eagerly uh, didn't shut him down. My nails are always shiny. You've got to take care of yourself. Don Marvin, how can my double-breasted suits be your favorite? I've just started wearing double-breasted. Suit is 1,000 US dollars. Wow, oh, so many loser psychos. Suit is thousand dollars US. Where am I in Hong Kong? I'm in Hong Kong. Goodness me. If you're really here in September, come and purchase a suit. Talk is cheap, right? Purchase a suit, you get the best. Uh, Johnny C, if you're not coming to Hong Kong, send me your measurements through the measurement chart on my website, then I can make you something amazing. Or at least just send me an email and we can talk about it. You know what is shameless? Brown people hating on brown people, you know what I mean? And the worst that brown people, uh, I better not go into this, uh, a racial conversation. What a waste scrolling back, all garbage. My hair is amazing. I don't have a favorite suit. What a shame. I've worked with so many famous football players. Harry King, Alan Shearer, Wes Brown, Kevin Keegan. Mike Kurt, send me your measurements through the measurement chart on my website, then I can make you something amazing. Tuxedo will be 1500 US. But Brandon, I do appreciate you. And Lisa, of course, I appreciate you. Yeah, the golden butterflies were awesome, but no quick turnaround. Private tuxedo, including the shirt, 1700 US dollars. Yeah, it was an excellent monologue. Did you pick it up from the start, Danielle? Did you pick it from the, up from the start, Brandon? Did you pick it up from the start, Lisa? Tell me honestly, I know you can always go and watch it back and you probably will if you missed it. So I'm just scrolling through now the viewers, see if there's anyone that I know. Yeah, I hope you watch the monologue. <sighs> that was a complete waste of time uh, scrolling back, honestly, because it was all garbage. And now I'm, the thing skips, I'm scrolling back again. I can make anything for a woman. I appreciate your love. My favorite TV show is Sopranos. My day has just started, it's 10.32 a.m. I did back this morning. I don't talk about like negative stuff, like the most outdated suit style. I don't know, I don't even see this shit. 
I live in such a progressive city. There's no uh, outdated stuff here, right? We live in Hong Kong. I make any color suit for anybody. My tie is, can you guess the brand? Very easy to guess. Can you guess the brand of the tie? Very easy to guess. The books behind me are client order books. I, I appreciate you, J. Ori26. Joe Vegas, can you guess the tie? Chris, give me a couple of months. We'll definitely be sooner. We need to get started. No time to wait. Hello. Come and say hello. Does anybody, everybody, oops, what did I do? Does anybody know this boy's name and who he is? Well, he's going to go now, but you can still sit, tell me if you know who his name and who he is. Okay, go have a good time. Did you make plans for afterwards? Yeah. What did you do? Party. Where? He said first come his house and then Casey's. What time are you going to his house? He wants to like me to buy Again, okay, it's stupid. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, he should just come to KC at 12, you know what I mean? This back and forth and everything is a stupid thing. You do what you want. I want you to have a good time, but I'm getting tired of this nonsense, you know what I mean? You can't keep giving in to others, Rian. How do I tell it? I just did fucking two calls, old Jack, with people in the United States. I mean, a fucking stupid question are you? My, my weight fluctuates all the time. I'm always between 69 and 79 kg constantly. Uh, those who follow me closely will know this. It just depends on how dialed in I am on my diet. I'm six foot four. I've never been to Ireland. Too cold for me. You can buy that kind of stuff, blue collar, 604 on my uh, Cameo. I'm the high, one of the highest rated uh, creators on Cameo. My Cameo is super cheap compared to every A-list celebrity out there, like fucking super cheap, right? And mine are hilarious, right? They're not clean and, you know, I don't need to be wary about what I say. Hello, Bonnie. Uh, Cameo.com, Roshan Mawani. I'm one of the highest rated creators, creators ever on Cameo. Over 3,000 uh, five-star uh, rated videos in a year. Uh, Laura Piana Fabric, 3000 US for a suit. You can also buy my merch on plentyofconsent.com. I have a baseball cap, two types of underwear, six t-shirts, six sweaters. Um, everything is in four different sizes. We ship all around the world. I can sign any items you purchase if you want that. I can also include a personalized video. I'm in China, correct? I'm in a city called Hong Kong, which is in China. Hello, user one, two, three. I've worked with a plethora of politicians um, from the top of the food chain all the way down to the bottom. Off the top of my head, I can tell you that I've worked with uh, both President Bushes and uh, President uh, Tr uh, Clinton. And I can tell you that my father has worked with President Trump, Ford, Carter, and then <clears throat> Prime Ministers of UK, he's done uh, Margaret Thatcher, John Major many times, Tony Blair many times, Boris Johnson, Prime Ministers of Canada, John Crantien, and Prime Minister Mulroney. And then the list goes on forever. Why Hong Kong? I'm born and raised in Hong Kong. Where are you? I speak a little bit of Cantonese. I don't drink or do any narcotics. My workout routine is just simply uh, pull-ups and push-ups and sometimes dips and sometimes bodyweight squats and then some sprints. How do I get Western apps in China? You must be an American who thinks that the, only, the entire world only exists in the United States. My dad hates everything. Uh, you cannot see a list of materials to choose from. You can peruse my YouTube for all the suits that I've made. Once you pay, then we will share fabrics with you. I don't count how many suits I sell a year. I still wake up at 4 every day. You know me well. I'm six foot four.
So you think that the world, you know, starts and begins in the United States? Why am I living in Hong Kong? Why are you living in New York? New York is a shithole. So aggressive, so fucking cold. I mean, an absolute shithole. I know that I went to NYU, it sucked. I mean, all the fixtures and fittings are just disgusting. You know what I mean? The people in the background, where's the people? I've worked with so many famous people, I cannot uh, uh, rank them. Many celebrities didn't turn out to be the way that I would uh, expect. I don't know if you guys know who Rude Hullet is. Anybody know who Rude Hullet is? If you do know who Rude Hullet is, I can tell you the Rude Hullet story. I work with so many famous people. I don't count how many suits I make a day. I don't love anything about brown people, especially not the ones in Hong Kong. Uh, don't really care about Trump or Hillary. Hello, Rich. This fall, I want you guys all wearing beige. Yeah, that fool referenced me in one of the scenes, 100%. That was such an honor. Suit is thousand bucks US. Yeah, I turned around and saw day 33. That suit's so fast for him. Yeah, go for beige. My parents hate me. They're far from proud of me. If I have a million dollars, I have many million dollars. <laughs> I have bills to pay. It doesn't count. The amount of money I have does not count because <laughs> I have to pay. Most famous American. How do you rank? How do you rank the difference between Russell Crowe, Sigourney Weaver, Kevin Spacey? Or sorry, Russell Crowe's not American. Uh, I meant to say Kevin Spacey, Sigourney Weaver. Uh, George Bush, how do you imagine dragons? How do you rank the difference between them? I appreciate your love, but I cannot pronounce your name. You hit Skyle. I don't understand what the fuck kind of uh, name that is. I don't have a favorite suit that I've made. I can make anything for women. I can make any style of suit, including biggie small suits. Guess my ethnicity. A suit is a suit, and then there's a three-piece suit. I, I, I cannot work with people who fish. Uh, user 738, uh, send me your measurements through the measurement chart on my website, then I can make you something amazing. I don't make Sherwanis. I make my own style of Sherwanis. You have to completely let go to me for me to make you a Sherwani. Any color shirt goes with a navy blue suit. My website is samstaylor.com. I make women's blazers, of course I do. Tommy Jamieson, I appreciate you so much. I look forward to working with you again. I'm grateful to you for all your support. The most expensive suit I've ever sold is 10,000 US dollars. I'm gonna to have to say bye to Instagram now. I've never thought about going paperless, I like paper. I do not do military uniforms. I'm not Jamaican. The overlapping buttons have been a thing since before I've been around. My name is Roshan. I don't do favorites, guys. It's not really my thing. Bonnie, thank you for the gifts, but like I've told all of you, you're best off saving your money uh, for to purchase a suit, or you're better off buying a personalized video from me on cameo.com, Roshan Mawani Samsil, or buying my merch, plentyofconsent.com. Sending me a gift through TikTok is very much appreciated, but you know, they'll take 50% of it. Yes, I've worked with both President Bushes. Hello, Adam from Canada. Hong Kong is a city in China. I, I mean, the, the, how stupid you people are is uh, incredible. I used to love living in Hong Kong for most of my life. Very recently, I just am tired of it. You know what I'm saying? I can speak a little bit of Cantonese. I've worked with Eminem, can you believe that? And Run DMC, I think it was. Can you believe that? Isn't that incredible? Price for a three-piece suit, 1,300 US. 
Website is samstaylor.com. Goodness me, my company's name is Sam's Taylor. The customers begged me to slap them. Instead, this is going to be goodbye to you, but you can jump on TikTok, right? And I'll keep going here. I appreciate you, Lee Ewing. 